Välkommen till Perspektiv direkt. I Perspektiv så försöker vi prata med personer som kan ge ett annat perspektiv på ett bolag. I det här avsnittet så har jag pratat med Per Söderberg. Han är vd för Arkaden Bredband och är alltså kund till Incoax. And since Incoax has investors and business outside of Sweden, this interview will be held in English. Per Söderberg, you're the CEO of Arkaden Bredband. You're very welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now I wanted to start off by, by asking you to describe your business. We're an internet service provider. Um, we're delivering internet services to roughly 60,000 people every day. Uh, we're delivering all over Sweden in the 10 major cities, mm. uh, all the way from up north to down south. Can you describe that, that the market, the internet market, what's it like? Uh, it's competitive, uh, low margins, uh, we have to be creative in our way of doing business, I think. It's a very mature market, I think 80% of the Swedish households has uh, fiber-based internet to their buildings in some way. So, so, so when, when you get a new customer, what's the, the practical challenges that you, yeah, that you experience? Uh, one of the challenges we've been facing based on where we are today is that uh, some buildings are culturally sensitive. It's hard to, uh, it's not, you can't do what you want with them. It's uh, stairwells that you can't put new cables in and uh, mm. uh, they're quite, quite sensitive. And uh, so those are actually the ones that are left out there as well. So those are that we need to target. Oh, all the other buildings already have fiber and stuff? More or less, I guess, yeah. Yeah, okay. So how do you usually uh, approach a building like that? Uh, traditionally, we have tried to build fiber optics all the way up to apartments and office floor, but uh, now we have some new ideas as well that we've been trying for a few years. Mm. And that's, that's in coax, that's using, using the, the existing network of, of cables already in the building. Right? Yes, exactly. Those that are also most of the time very well located in an apartment or an office. That's where the family wants their internet connection. So it's uh, very convenient to use that old infrastructure. So, so how did you first uh, hear the, the, of this company, of Incoax, and, and when did you approach them? Uh, we had one of these tough cases uh, five years ago in uh, in Sundsvall, where we had this building with uh, we couldn't do anything. It was very hard to get through with the uh, building owners and uh, the walls were one meter thick of solid rock. <laughs> and we couldn't even get an offer for a contractor to, to build a fiber-based uh, uh, network. Mm. So it's, uh, that's where we started off and contacted in Coax and made the first test site. And, and ultimately, why did you choose them? Uh, I think we <laughs> fell in love with their engineers. <laughs> Our, uh, it was very easy to get a hold of them. They seemed very competent. Uh, we got uh, fast dialogue. They were fast responding. And uh, yes, I think that's very important for a strategic partnership going forward that you easy to get a hold of the right competence. Mm. Yeah, in a very technical sector as well. Now, this was a few years back. Yeah. Uh, in Coax has a new product. It's called In Extend. And I know that you. Uh, just installed this product a few months back in a new apartment building. Uh, can you walk me through that process of rolling out the installments and, and all of that? Yes, sure. Uh, it was a very demanding customer that came to us with, uh, uh, they had cable TV to, and uh, they wanted high speed internet and IPTV installed. Oh, to oh, all if their you, if I, wanted, I want to pause you right there, high speed internet, what, what's the definition? Yeah, they would like gigabit capability mm. in their, to their apartments. Do continue. <laughs> and uh, so they came to us and we thought about doing a fiber installation as we used to do, but when, then also it, it was quite close to our office. So we said this would be a perfect site for testing the new Winxtend products mm. uh, that have just recently been released. Uh, so we, we tried that and uh, it was a very smooth uh, rollout. Uh, they were up and running. In, they had a one hour break, I think. Um, oh, but from their old internet to their yeah, new? Yeah, so it's uh, very, very smooth. Um, and it's been running since June. And so now in almost six months, uh, we've been uh, pushing multicast television and high speed internet. Um, through that uh, infrastructure and it works very, very well. Now, I wanted to talk about that infrastructure because you usually use fiber optics through your core network and then when you approach the building, uh, when you switch to in coax product, you use the existing coax cables. Yes. In that transition from fiber to coax, 
Is there any loss in, say, stability, uptime or, or speed? Uh, no, on the contrary, I would say it's uh, very reliable. Uh, as I said, those the old generation we have been, have that been running for five years now, mm -hmm. and this new one since June, and it's uh, very reliable. It's uh, we lost power to that buildings, and the system comes <laughs> keeps up coming up again, and uh, so that must be pretty cheap on your end as well. There's no. No uh, complaining customers calling. Where's our internet? No, it's just, it's no, it works uh, works very well. And uh, um, yes, it seems very reliable and no lo and no problems with speed or multicast traffic or anything. So it seems uh, it's proven in battle, I would say. <laughs> or at least we will continue to make uh, offers based on this technology now. Mm. And we don't have to aim for buildings only 10, 10 minutes from our office. We can <laughs> aim a little bit higher now. Per, I'll give you a challenge here. I'll give you two, two uh, significant benefits of using uh, the Incoax uh, product. Go. Uh, one would be an environmental. I think it makes no sense to build new parallel infrastructure if you have an existing in infrastructure that's, uh, that obviously works very, very well. Uh, and second would be cost efficiency for us. I mean, uh, in those installations we've done, we s it's one fourth maybe of, of the cost compared to building new infrastructure. And as I said, it's a competitive market. We have to find new, new edges. And mm. so those two, environmental and save a lot of good money. Answers, good <laughs> answers. I'm, I'm impressed by it. Uh, moving forward, I, I want to pick your brain on, on one little subject before we close this interview. And that's in general more about the market, high speed internet. Is coax cables here to stay? I would say so, yes. I think it, uh, as I said, we continue to make offers on this new platform now. And uh, of course, there will be 5G and all kinds of different technologies as well. But I think this will be for, for quite some time, this will be a very important part of our lives, yes. All right. Thank you so much for coming here. <laughs> Thank you very much.